What's going on Vault Dwellers? This is Top Ranking Noob and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And hey, if you guys want to check out some awesome Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description along with a coupon code that's going to save you 5%. Now, with that being said, I'm back at it here, and I think I found a new glitch. I haven't seen anyone post on this. It just seems kind of strange that it hasn't been posted before. But that might be because this wasn't available until the December 19th patch, if you're on PC, December 19th. But what I'm going to be showing you today is how to take advantage of two separate Power Armor Torso mods. In this case, I'm going to be using my jetpack and my Tesla coil at the same time. Huge shout out to uh, Nate Dog uh, Thirty Three Thirty Two. Uh, we were doing a nuke zone, and he was complaining slash more bragging about the fact that he was currently able to use his Stealth Boy and his jetpack at the same time. His Stealth Boy torso mod, not just a Stealth Boy. So we knew it could be done. We just had to figure out how to duplicate the process. So if you guys find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. That way you'll be the first to be notified anytime I find new cool 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 content like this. So let's get into it. You just saw me flying around. I had my jetpack equipped and that's what I loaded into the game with in this case. I currently just switched to the toil uh, the, the Tesla coil mod and now I can no longer float around. We're not quite there yet. Uh, so in order to actually make this glitch work, there's one key ingredient. All you have to do is find a way to murder yourself. Now you can get enemies to do it. In this case, I got a double shot shotgun, which blows up in your face if you're at point blank. From there, you just respawn. And that's it. So here I am. I still got my Tesla coil uh, torso equipped. And I can fly like freaking Peter Pan, man. What do you know about that? Now, with uh, Nate Dog 3332, he was able to easily prove that both were working because he had the Stealth Boy torso. All he had to do is crouch. And there you go. With me having the Tesla, I think we need to go find some enemies and check that out. So let's fast forward to that point. So here we are. Uh, we're at the White Springs Resort. Most of you guys probably recognize this, point, uh, this place by now. Uh, and all I'm going to do is run around these enemies and see if we can get this Tesla to trigger. Uh, what we're doing is we're keeping an eye out on their health, uh, and you should see their health go down gradually. Now, these are some higher level enemies, so it's not like it's doing a lot. The reason why I like the Tesla is because it actually hits the enemies, so if there's a lot of people grinding, I'm still going to get count for XP, even if I didn't necessarily tag them all. Even though I got an explosive shotgun, I should tag them. Anyways, what I have noticed, though, is that the animation doesn't really seem that predominant. Like, you can't really tell, uh, but you can see their health drop, so it's clearly working. Uh, and I'm still being able to uh, to do the jetpack. So that's two different uh, torso mods at the same time, which is really cool. So I got to thinking, though, I'm like, if this works for the, the torso mod, uh, why wouldn't it work for the legs and arms? Now, now, for this demonstration, I don't have any extra arms. But what I did do is I crafted a couple of legs to see if we can still get my calibrated legs in here so that I can do all that extra carry weight, as well as get some sprint speed going on. So let's see how well that worked out. Now, I'm pretty sure I already have an optimize, uh, optimized servo laying around somewhere, so I'll go dig that out. But I need another leg piece to test this out. So I headed on over to the Enclave, and I'm picking up an overdrive servo for a pretty penny for this test. So let's grab that up and see if I can find that optimized servo and put this to the test. All right, so if aside from getting that uh, that overdrive servo, I guess I also need a leg to put it in, an extra leg. So I quickly came over here. I had to grind some springs real quick because we're always out of springs. Uh, I crafted me a right leg for my X01 suit, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put that overdrive sensor in there. Uh, I already got my uh, optimized servo uh, equipped, so now that we got that, um, that built, let's go ahead and see what we got. So I loaded back into the screen. Uh, I loaded back into the game. It's important to load into the game. I got my jetpack equipped. I got my optimized uh, servo equipped, and I got my overdrive servo equipped. So this is all the, uh, the, the mods that I want to use on top of my Tesla coil and on top of my calibrated uh, leg. So I'm going to go ahead and equip those now that I'm in, in there, and let's just see if we can find a pretty good place to, uh, to put this to the test. All right, this seems like a pretty cool place. So we're right in front of Vault 76, uh, and we're ready to do a crash test on this. So ideally, I should also have carry weight, but I also need to be able to run a little bit faster. 
Uh, and uh, sprint speed should also take up less uh, AP, less action points. So we just murdered ourselves. Uh, let's go ahead and respawn. What I should be able to do now with the Tesla coil and my calibrated legs, I should be able to fly around like Peter freaking Pan, and I should be able to run faster, and I should be able to run longer. So let's take a look here. Now with the legs and the hands, it's a little harder to prove because what are you comparing it to? You're just kind of eyeballing it a little bit versus the Tesla and the jetpack. But I can tell you that after I equip these, I, I mean, I'm noticeably running faster and I can see that my AP points are dropping at a less, less speed. Uh, so, I mean, that's pretty awesome, man. We can pretty much do this with everything. Now, when it comes to arms, though, most arm mods are in regards to unarmed activities. Um... With the exception of what, what is it? Optimized Bracer, I think. Optimized Bracer actually just reduces the action points required for the heavy swings. But the rest of it is all unarmed. I'm not really going to bother with that because I'm not running around the wastelands unarmed like ever. But anyways, that is how you're going to use multiple mods in one power armor unit. Now, whether the legs and everything are worth it to you, I don't know because that's a lot of extra carry weight. Uh, so it might not be worth it to you, but the chest piece I think is definitely worth it. Uh, the torso. Um, but if you want to just drop down that carry weight, you can keep a empty chassis around with you, throw it back on there. And now the entire carry weight is only uh, 10 pounds. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see y'all next time.